So how value is it to work with someone like Chris when it's like, hey, Chris, this is what I'm looking for. Here's my budget. Here's the money that I have in my bank account. This is what I want to buy. You find me something like this. Hey, you already know what I want. And Chris, I know you have people that can help update if things need to be updated. I know you can help direct people to get someone to help them with renting a property as well. So you are that perfect person that if you're thinking about going to Texas, you got to make sure you reach out to Chris because Chris is going to get your foot in the door before that listing goes out. And now there's a bidding war going around and, and um, creating a mess. Because the other thing too, is if you're from New York, having to go to Texas, having Chris here, you're going to do the virtual, the virtual tour 360. We don't have to physically go there to look at the home. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's 2022. We're doing, you know, a Facebook live video across the country. Like, if it's a process, if the process is where I have to see every house, even if it's just a, a client that's looking for a primary home, like, come on, you, you, we have 20 houses that will work for you and you want to look at each of them before we're submitting an offer. By the time we get to the 20th one, the first one's gone and then the second one's gone. Like we have to move efficiently and effectively. So we do have tactics and ways to help our clients get what they want and that's by using technology well chris i gotta tell you you kind of convinced me right now i'm like i need to work with you and figure out what we can do because i definitely want to invest something in texas especially the fact that the that what you're telling me year over year you're talking about 14 percent, and as right. more people is understanding texas and seeing the value of texas i mean let's think about it florida Florida is getting saturated and the prices in Florida are just going, are ridiculously going high. And what's going to happen in, in Florida is same thing that's going to happen here in New York, where there's not going to be a lot of a uh, wiggle room, right? For that extra 500, maybe that extra thousand dollars that you can get. And like you said, jobs are moving more to Texas. So whether it's going to be five years, 10 years, and I'm curious to see what's going to happen to us, right? Five or 10 years from now, how high Texas is going to be, how much more value the homes are going to be worth down there in Texas because you're getting more land, more property, and everything's getting saturated. So um, Right, and we also have to, to think of inflation, right? Our money, if it's not working for us, it's decreasing in value. If it's sitting under your mattress, if it's sitting in the bank, it's losing value. So we need to put our money to work. Now, if someone is able to get a cash out refinance on their home in New York to be able to put a down payment on a vacation home, right? Because you only have to put 10% down on your vacation home as opposed to 15 to 25% down on an investment property. So if you're buying a vacation home in San Antonio, Texas, and someone is paying that mortgage for you, and you're also getting a couple hundred bucks a month for incidentals, and that is just sitting in a separate bank account for that house. It, the money's gone, it's growing, it's over here just in case anything happens. And then five years, whatever the case may be when you decide to slow down maybe just work part-time or retire and get that pension like you mentioned you already have a house to go to that mortgage balance is down you yep. can then refinance for a less you know a lower mortgage and now your monthly payment is even less absolutely i mean the opportunity Chris, is there anything that you want to tell anyone here that I probably did not include or added here that you believe will be of value to uh, individuals that are thinking about either investing in taxes or moving or just investing in general in real estate? So I always advise people to get the information, right? So that way we can make an informed decision. Like, hey, look, how much could I cash out and refi on my house? Okay, if I wanted to pull out $40,000, what would my mortgage payment then be? Oh, it only goes up a hundred bucks a month to have $40,000 tucked away over here to then grow it and potentially get an investment property. Or even if it's just for in case a family emergency happens or someone wants to go from working full time to part time to stay at home with the kids more or our parents are getting older. So we want to spend more time with them and help them. Right. So there's a lot of ways that we can pull out our equity from our homes because if it's ours. It's sitting there waiting for you. Chris, so how can people get in touch with you? How can they get a hold of you? How do we communicate with you and get to know, to speak to you about investing now in Texas? You can head to my website, chriswinstead.com. My name's on there. It's W instead, win instead of lose. Um, find me on Facebook, Instagram, 
You can even just Google All City Homes, Texas, and I'll pop up. Uh, it's the internet. It's not hard to find people. Uh, you see my face, you Google it, you hit the button. Here I am. And I'll definitely put the contact information here so you guys can have it. Again, Chris, I am so grateful for this time that you gave me and all the valuable information. I mean, we need to stay, so stay tuned because I really want to talk to you, Chris, and see what I can do there in, um, in Texas. Thank you again, and I do appreciate your time. Awesome. Thank you for having me. See you all later.